What did you say? This is a little egg and this is a big egg and this is a big egg and this is a big egg and this, that's a big egg over there. Uh -huh. Wow, good and job. Do you want to put them away now? They're just like putting them away. All right, good job, little egg collector. Home, home. Oh, shoot. Got it. Got dirty. Welcome back to the homestead. Sorry, I know it's been a while. I've been really busy. I got some really cool projects coming up. I will share with you, but not right now. Um, we actually got moisture today, which was in the form of a rainstorm and not a snowstorm. So that was exciting. One of the things I want to share with you one of these days is uh, about rain catchments and rain uh, water storage. So if you're interested in that, put it in the comments below. But today we're in the greenhouse and I'm going to show you an epic failure. <laughs> so um, just because there's a whole point to this. Uh, part of the reason that we do homesteads and we do greenhouses is so we can be more prepared, right? Well, part of the reasons we do homesteads and greenhouses early, meaning when you don't need them, meaning when you can go to the store and get things plentifully, the reason we still force ourselves to have redundancies and why we force ourselves to, um, to, to basically live off grid or live the old way of life is so that we can make mistakes now when it doesn't matter <laughs> because I am making a lot of mistakes and by making mistakes, that's how I learn. So I'm going to show you one of them, but first of all, I've got a little helper over here. This is Miss Sienna. What are you finding? How big? Show me how big. It's little. Oh, <laughs> have you been getting some other ones? I got a big one. Right. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So, before I get into my failure, I'm gonna show you some successes here. So look at the orange tree, look at that. So we are, uh, what are we, May 4th today? And uh, here in Utah, we just basically the snow just melted. We still have snow on the mountains and we've got citrus growing. So we've got our little oranges growing. Um, I don't know if we have any avocados growing yet. That's our small avocado tree. But uh, over, over here, we do have lemons and limes growing. So let me show you that. And then I'm going to get into the failure. <laughs> Banana tree is still doing great. The passion fruit, um, we're just getting little, little passion fruits all over, actually, up top. Um, ah, you can't see when I'm doing selfie mode. But right up there-ish is some more passion fruits, more flowers growing, which make it super fun. All right, I'll stop that. Let's go look at the citrus, and then I wanna get into the purpose of this video, this quick video. Um, I've got two really uh, important topics that I wanna share with you in another video. I have to wait. You're gonna understand why. It's about a lot of things that are going on right now, but I can't share it with you until the time's right. Uh, I think you'll be very interested in some things that I need to share. Um, sorry to be cryptic. It's on my mind and I'm kind of waiting for things to happen so I can share it with you. But anyway, the time's coming. Um, okay, so over here we've got a lemon tree and just little tiny lemons coming. And uh, I don't think this lime tree has anything growing on it yet, but that thing's small. Oh, the chayote squash, look at that. So it's all the way from the ground and then up. Everything's backwards, that's why I can't point very good. And then up on the wall. So that chayote squash is a tropical kind of squash that are delicious. You can actually get them at Walmart. You've probably never seen them there, but they're there. They're in the cooler and they are a fantastic source of food. So as you can see this on this angle, the chayote is already starting to come up to make uh, part of our uh, summer canopy where we get all that leaf mass up in the air. Uh, this uh, passion fruit on this wall too, same thing. 
we're growing it up. And I didn't even realize, but we've got a little passion fruit on this wall too. Um, anyway, it's important. All right, now let's move over in the greenhouse to the failure. <laughs> if you've seen my videos, I've been so excited about artichokes and the plant looks absolutely amazing. I mean, well, let's go look at it. So, oh, by the way, look at the tomato plant. So for perspective, this is how tall it is. We've got little tomatoes all over it, which again, were May 4th. And we, we started these from seed in the middle of winter. That's what a greenhouse does for you. So I'm a little more experienced in tomatoes than artichokes. So I'm having success this year, but you know what? I failed so many times with tomatoes and that's why I'm getting better at them because I know what not to do. Okay, with artichokes, I've never grown it before. I don't know if you can without a greenhouse in Utah. Maybe you can, I don't know. So I have been just waiting for these bad boys to close up. I mean, they're just monster artichokes. And I was so excited to cut one from the vine and to go boil it and to dip it into hot butter and mayonnaise and eat it. And for those of you who like artichokes, know what I mean. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, whatever. Anyway, sitting here waiting <laughs> to harvest these. Well, I've waited too long. So those of you who've seen the prior videos, you didn't tell me. So apparently with an artichoke, an artichoke is a flower. You're eating the flower. Well, look at that one. I mean, that's flipping beautiful. I mean, it's super cool. It's like the showboat plant of the greenhouse at the moment. But no, they, they come out and they're kind of closed. And if you wait until they open, it's too late. <laughs> and so all of these are literally too late. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to cook one anyway. I probably won't make a video of it because I'll be gagging. But... I really only have that top one up there that's still closed that might be good. Live and learn. So you can cut these and then they might grow some other little artichokes. So we're gonna try that. So it might not be a failure, but in general, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't research it because I my mind has been distracted on other plants and uh, we waited too long. But aren't you glad, aren't I glad to learn that lesson now. I'm not gonna starve to death because I wasted a few months growing this really cool plant that is no longer gonna be usable. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. That's kind of my point of this video. These little preparations that we're doing, the things that we're forcing ourselves to do and to learn, it's so that when we do need to rely on ourselves, to rely on our own efforts, that we are better at gardening, we're better at our greenhouses, we're better at catching water and storing water. <sighs> what, what's the old saying? Um, uh, you have to burn it to learn it. Well, we're learning that here at the homestead. <laughs> so if you will please take a moment in the comments and tell me if you're interested in a water video. I mean, I've got tons of water stuff. I've got all of these water barrels. I've, I've got ideas for rain catchment, uh, underground storage. I mean, really cool stuff. I just don't know if you're just interested in greenhouse stuff or if you wanna learn a little bit about how we approach water here at the homestead, but that will be a cool video because I've got many different uh, things that I've employed here on the homestead. I haven't really shared it much, but I think I'd be willing to share it if you're interested. Um, just a little update on the uh, greenhouse since we're here. I gotta go to a baseball game. I got two of them. Um, the blackberries, look at that. Like seriously, I should probably, is that ready? Oh, can you see it? I don't even know if it's ready. Too soon? Too soon? Mmm, that's a good, not too soon. We got blackberries starting to come out everywhere, which is exciting. That was good. I just brushed my teeth, so it was a little tart. Um, anyway, more little tomato plants that are growing pretty well so far. We've got, most of our tomatoes are different uh, heirloom varieties. Oh, I want to show you this. So on the little fish tanks, 
we've been growing different kinds of mint. Uh, we have spearmint over here. So we want all that purple um, foam board, which is designed so the birds don't drown again. Um, <clears throat> so we want that mint to, to cover up that ugly purple foam. And we want the mint, it's actually just growing directly in the water, which is kind of fun. And so over here, we are gonna do spearmint. So we just barely bought these. They finally came in stock at our local Walmart. And so we'll make this thing pretty as well. Functional, pretty, yay. Oh, and mint is horrible if it gets out of control. So this will contain the roots. So as long as we don't let, uh, the, let it go to seed, we should be good. Um, what else do I wanna show you while I'm in here? We just continue to get more peppers which is fun. Uh, we just planted a bunch of cabbage. Oh, I wanna show you the cauliflower. I do not believe I've showed you that in the video yet because I've been slacking for about eight days. Slacking so long, I don't even know where it's at. Here we go, look at this. So when these things come out, I mean, they look Broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower all look the same. So we thought this was a cabbage, and then all of a sudden this leaf goes away, and boom, look at that. I've never been able to grow it, so I'm excited. Now, if I'm doing something wrong, put it in the comments below so I don't have the same artichoke mess, <laughs> okay? All of you guys that knew I was uh, waiting too long on the artichoke, shame on you. Just kidding. But you should tell me in the comments, because I do read them. Beautiful, but too late. Um... Okay, I don't know what else to show in here. I got to run off to a baseball game. Uh, if you get a chance, like and subscribe. Um, a reminder for those of you who are interested in the greenhouse, uh, if you go up on YouTube to playlists, I have a, a list of, I think, six construction videos, and I show you the whole process. And I'll be going through some of that on some of these other videos as well. But if you want to see the construction kind of in real time, the digging down, the pipes, all of it, uh, go, to, go to the YouTube, the playlist, construction, and uh, watch away. And then if you have questions on them, uh, feel free to post them, and I'll try to answer you individually. I hope any of you guys that are doing your greenhouse or your grow beds, I hope it all works out. I wish you well. I think it's worth the effort. It is a pain in the butt. You will get a very clear idea of, you know, kind of the monstrosity it was to build this thing in those videos. I look back at him, I can just see misery in my face. Having said that, especially with everything going on, with stocks, with banks, with uh, Putin, with just everything going on, I don't regret for one second having built this greenhouse. And I don't regret for one second all the other preps that we've done in the homestead. So I'd encourage you to do something hard, prioritize and get busy. All right, thanks. Like, subscribe. I'll be back sooner than I uh, was this last time. Promise. See ya. All right, if you made it to the end of the video, I just did a hack job and cut them all off. Well, except for two. You know what? They've been here so long, they're family. I wanna see what this flower does. But the rest are cut off, and I think I will actually get some artichokes growing, um, sp spawning off of those stems. We will see. In the meantime, I have a whole basket worth of worthless artichokes. But you know what? Look at them. They're kind of cool looking. Look at that thing. Looks like an anemone, if that's how you say it, in the ocean. Um, anyway, so <laughs> the good news is I think there's a few of these. Um, ideally, you would want to harvest them. Hold on, there was a couple when they're about like that, mainly when they're all closed and they're just barely starting to open. Not when they're beautiful flowers like that. So I am gonna eat, you know, maybe three of them. The rest of them I'm gonna research and see if I can give them to my animals and live and learn, baby. So we might not have got much food, but we got a great selfie. <laughs> Peace out, see you next video.